is going on everyone it's the print house and today we're talking about print orientation this is incredibly important i keep saying this but guys all of these videos are important for beginners to learn this way you can really understand just the basics of how the slicer works how the printer works how everything all meshes nicely together so guys print orientation is saying whether you print your part vertically or horizontally or maybe you print it at a 45 degree angle or doesn't Print orientation is how the print is situated on the bed. Generally, when you talk about orientation, it is vertical or uh, horizontal. Ever so slightly, you might try and print something at a 45 degree angle, but that's pretty rare. It doesn't happen very often. But guys, uh, the way the layer lines are built up, if you print vertically, you have layer lines going all the way up. And if you hear this, that is a vertically oriented print. Now you also have horizontal print lines and if you hear this, well, it's not, uh, it's not, you know, going against the uh, grain. So big difference there. And the biggest reason why print orientation matters is because uh, 3D prints are weak along the layer lines. So if you're printing a toy, you know, and it doesn't matter if it has to be strong, you just put it on the print bed, print it however you want. When it comes off, it's going to be good to go. But if you're printing something that's functional, something that might actually need to be strong, uh, then guys, you need to take into consideration the way that you load your part into the slicer. And so I'm gonna show you just why that matters right now. I printed these two long bars. One of them was vertical, one of them was horizontal. And guys, it's gonna show very, very obviously which one is weaker. Now they'll both probably break, but one of them is gonna break easier and that's gonna be the one that was printed vertically, the one that goes with the layer lines. So let's look at that right now. All right guys, so what you're seeing right here is the vertically oriented print and it breaks relatively easily. Now uh, I've only got 10 or 15 or something, I don't remember what infill I've got, but it doesn't really matter how much infill you've got um, it's gonna break easier. Now, if we take the model that uh, that has no layer lines along the uh, along the top and bottom. These layer lines go like this. This one's gonna be a lot stronger. And you can see this one actually has a. It's still connected, so it's still broke. I made a very weak model this way my weak hands were actually going to be able to break both of them but this one is stronger and you know it obviously is still connected of course this is still a broken print however like i said still connected then you come over here this one just just broke right off and uh weaker now guys uh i recognize that uh these models uh, they both broke and i know i already said but i made them both weak because uh, I printed these, they're two inches long or an inch and a half long and they're a half an inch thick. Uh, I printed these ones and it would require way, 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 way more strength than I could ever apply to these in order to break them. So I wanted to make sure that I could break these. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail and make beautiful graphics on why this is the case, but I wanna bring it to light. This way you guys are aware of the situation and you guys can now take it into consideration for your own prints. And there are way better videos on the topic than I have. Some people have apparatuses in order to measure the actual strength of horizontal print lines like this versus vertical print lines like this one. So guys, that's your homework. Go find a better video that actually gives you quantifiable numbers on uh, difference in strength. Um, but guys, very, very important, and this might be something that you never considered before. So guys, uh, I hope I was able to help you guys out and bring something to light that you otherwise didn't know about. Guys, if this video was helpful, please drop a like and a subscribe if you want to know anything else about printing with the Anchor Make printer or with the slicer, drop them in the comments below. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.